After you include the appropriate libraries, of course the next thing to do is create your main function. With this program, we will essentially need two things from the user, a base and a height of a triangle so we can calculate its area. Typically, what you would want to do is create two input variables and an answer variable. So essentially a base, height, and area variable that will help us solve this problem. For this problem, we will do something different. Instead of creating our usual three variables and passing values into them via the scanf function or with expressions, we will utilize the idea of variables to our advantage. A variable is essentially an empty bucket that can hold information. If we declare an int variable, the int specifies how big the bucket or variable will be, or in other words, how much information the bucket can successfully hold. Similar to a bucket, you can fill it up and dump its contents into another bucket, which will allow you to use the bucket over and over again. Having said that, here is what we will do for this program. We will declare one variable and call it input, and another variable called answer. First, we will ask for the base of the triangle. After that, we will solve the first part of the equation. The equation for finding the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So after receiving the base, we will simply multiply by one half and set it to the answer vari variable. After that, we will prompt the user again and ask for the height, which we will then multiply by a previous answer to get the area. After testing the program, we can see that it works. Notice that for this style of programming, it does not allow you to collect more than two inputs at a time. Although you minimize the number of variables you use in your program, the trade-off is that you have to do everything step by step. Having said that, it does not mean that what we did is wrong. It's all about what your code has to do. For our purposes, the way we approached it was fine. 